Marie Curie, born Maria Salome Sklodowska, was brought into the world on November 7, 1867 in Warsaw, Poland. She was a self-taught intellectual, bouncing back from colleges in Poland and Paris, where she earned master's degrees in both physics and mathematics. She later went on to complete her PhD after marrying her husband, Pierre Curie. Inspired by the work of Henry Becquerel, Curie made the decision to research the uranium rays, and eventually she uncovered a whole new field of atomic physics, which she labeled radioactivity, disproving that atoms were indivisible. Mr. and Mrs. Curie continued their research in this field for years to come. The birth of their daughter, Irene, in 1897, however, did not slow down their work. In 1904, they had their second daughter, Eve. With Pierre as her scientific collaborator and partner, they were also able to discover the two elements that we know today as polonium and radium. Not only did they make this achievement, but they also uncovered the properties of one specific element, radium. This was made possible by their isolation of the element. She had an element named after her, curium. These breakthroughs won Marie the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Marie continued her work in chemistry and years later adopted Irene as her assistant. On July 4, 1934, Marie passed away due to allosplastic anemia, which was believed to be caused by her excessive exposure to radiation. She is the only woman to be buried in the Pantheon in Paris upon request. Even after her mother's death, Irene continued her mother's research. Irene Curie was born on September 12, 1897, in Paris, France. She was the older of two daughters born to Marie and Pierre Curie. Because of her natural ability in mathematics, Irene became tired of local schooling and started homeschooling with her mother. She finished her high school career at the College of Savine and began her undergraduate work at Sorbonne, where she emphasized in mathematics and physics, as her mother did before her. During World War I, Irene put her studies on hold to assist her mother set up x-ray machines in military hospitals. Because of excellent contribution, she was awarded France's military medal, the first of many honors to come. In 1918, Irene worked with her mother again as an assistant at the University of Paris and in seven years received her doctorate. Following this, she met her soon-to-be husband, Frederick Joliot, and like her mother and father, they became a scientific duo. Irene's professional work led to numerous publishings and her eventual Nobel Prize. The Joliots began their work in 1928, studying atomic nuclei and confirmed the discovery of the previously uncovered positron. In 1934, their findings on the emission of polonium alpha particles when bombarded with aluminum and their synthesis of several radioactive elements led to their discovery of artificial radioactivity, earning them the 1935 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Irene continued her work, creating breakthroughs in future scientific medicine and many major illnesses. Irene died of leukemia on March 17, 1956, in Paris, France, due to her exposure of radioactive elements. Because of Marie's work, scientists began using radioactive elements in medicine. This, however, was very expensive, but because of Irene, the new radioactive elements could be made inexpensively. These breakthroughs benefited the treatment of cancer and other major illnesses. Fun facts! Fun, fun facts! Yeah! Marie Curie Marie and her husband were invited to the Royal Institute to give a speech on radioactivity. She, however, was not allowed to speak due to her gender. Marie hired a governess to teach their daughters Polish. If it was not for Perry's death, Marie would, would not have gotten his spot on the physics department chair at the University of Paris. She was the first woman to be a professor at the University of Paris. Her papers from the 1890s and her cookbook were considered to be too radioactive to be handled. Irene Curie By 1932, Irene was the mother of two children, Helen and Pierre, who later went on to be established scientists. In 1936, she was appointed Under Secretary of State for Scientific Research. She contributed to the creation of the first French nuclear reactor. She also worked out plans for a large center for nuclear physics at Orsay, but died before its completion. Both Marie and Irene died to exposure of radioactive elements.